214-610-12 is my student ID. This is Tucker again. I'm going to show you guys just a few things with him. Um, we already scaled and polished the one side that we did x-rays on and now we flipped it and we're going to do the left side. Um, first thing I always want to do, and you can close up, come on and close up you, is measure for pockets. Um, he's not too bad over here. I'd say that we will definitely make the doctor aware of those canines having a small pocket underneath of them. But um, other than that, we'll, leave, um, we'll have it go from there. And then I'm gonna probe just the outsides real quick and go from there. Um, for tan scaling, I'm gonna use a sickle and show you guys just how to remove some little bit of the tartar with it. I wanna go back, I wanna go in one direction, back and forth to try and break that off without causing too much dan damage to the tooth. I wanna make sure I'm using the side and not the point, as well as kind of getting that off. Um, a better way, and what we usually do for most of these is just the ultrasonic cleaner, which I'm just gonna show you how to use now. This is the ultrasonic scaler. Um, I wanna test it, make sure that the water's flowing through, and it is. It's got a nice sharp point to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the tartar off. I never want to stay longer than about two seconds on the tooth and I want to move back and forth along the whole jaw for each tooth making sure I'm getting that nice tartar off without heating the tooth from doing too much at one time. So for video purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this one side. When I went to finish my scaling, I'd actually go ahead and do the outsides of both these tooth, and then the inside of the lowers and uppers as well. Um, these three teeth are nice and clean though. I don't see any more tartar on them. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and finish scaling and then I'm gonna show you how I would polish them. So, we have our polisher here. Works really good, I check it beforehand. And then we use the um, this paste called the propyl paste. Usually I just throw it on top of a cap, place it onto the probe and go ahead and polish the whole tooth. You want to spend a good amount of time on each tooth, rubbing it back and forth, making sure that you are getting any grooves or ridges that you might have made with the scaler. All right, and then I'll go ahead and spray the tooth off with some water. And I will finish by doing a little chlorhexidine rinse to make sure that I got anything else that might be left in there. All right, and that should be it um, for that video. Thank you.